Wall of Blue, 140. Away they go. Here's Ronnie from the inside and a hula hoop with the smartest interstride from Hangy on the extreme outside. And then Pyramid Park followed closely by Star Century and close up expect a star. Brian York has here's Ronnie in front going past the post the first time. And the break on a hula hoop is about three quarters of a length. Hangy caught three wide in the third spot. Munts is looking over to try and get a little closer at the moment. Followed by Pyramid Park who's keeping Hangy wide. And a couple to Star Century on the inside of expect a star. Racing to the back now and heading to the 1800 pole and here's Ronnie in front by a little more than a length now on Hula Hoop. Two lengths away third is Pyramid Park who's travelling over on the inside of Hwangi. So Pyramid Park holding his posse about a horse off the fence which means Hwangi is still caught wide out from Star Century and last of all is Expect a Star. Working to the back of the course over the 1600 crossing there's little or no change in the order and here's Ronnie is piloting the field about a length of three quarters of a length on Hula Hoop. Hwangi in the third spot again being shown though for that position by Pyramid Park on the inside. Two and a half expect a star and about a neck back on the inside. Star Century racing along the back of the track and going to the halfway marker at the 1200 metres and the leader is Ears Ronnie. He's been there from the word go and he's out by a length still on Hula Hoop. A length and a half away third is Pyramid Park followed his quarters on the outside Hwangy and two lengths expect a star and ahead the inside Star Century. Out of the back and going onto the high street side at the 950 and they've got along at a reasonable clip here and it's ears Ronnie showing the way but Cooksley on Hula Hoop has been in close attendance right throughout and over the 850 crossing this time it's ears Ronnie only a half length on Hula Hoop and two and a half to Pyramid Park a neck to Hwangy the outside a couple then to Star Century and expect a star the field of six are traveling in pairs with 600 meters ahead of them and ears Ronnie is the leader about a half to three quarters of a length on Hula Hoop now Pyramid Park is being popped the question by Larry Cass Star Century locked in, getting onto the back of Pyramid Park as expect a star and Wangy has dropped out last as they set sail for home. Here's Ronnie joined almost by Pyramid Park. A length and a half expect a star and two lengths further back in the field is Hula Hoop. Pyramid Park got to Here's Ronnie. Expect a star can't catch the two leaders. Pyramid Park the leader, but Here's Ronnie is refusing to surrender. Here's Ronnie gets the better of Pyramid Park. He found his second wind, Here's Ronnie, and he comes away and scores three quarters. Here's Ronnie beat Pyramid Park and travelling into third spot. Expect a star, followed by star century. Hwangi and Hula Hoop was last. Number seven is Ronnie, 10, 50, 3, 80, 1, Pyramid Park, 150, 4, Expect a star, no third dividend. Just wrapping up those Melbourne dividends on the third, 4, 1, 2, 4, Yuma Waller, 9, 20, 2, 70, 1, Stuntman, 140, 2, All the Blur, 140. Racing. Out in a pretty good line too. One of the best away was Blaze the Turf. Landed in front here of Kalimna and Baby Boomer and Morissette travelling forward goes up third. Baby Boomer fourth now from So Be A Star, Desert Mistral and Bell Bain. Further back Peg Zane and two to Dan Voir last of all. Blaze the Turf broke clear and led by nearly three when they settled from Morissette on the outside of Kalimna third. Four further back in the race, Baby Boomer, So Be A Star, the rail a half then Peg Zone. Two further back, Desert Mistral outside Bell Bain and two to Dan Voir last of all. This is going very hard in front here. This favourite Blaze the Turf at the 700 metre mark or just inside it. It's out four lengths in front from and second placing Morissette outside. Kalimna three to Baby Boomer. Then Peg Zone, Sobia Star, Balbane, Desert Mistral and four last of all Dan Voir on the turn at the 400 metre mark and the leader Blaze the Turf by a good three to Morissette and Kalimna. Three to Sobia Star, Baby Boomer, Peg Zone, Dan Voir back at the tail. He gives us a crack with a whip in front here. Blaze the Turf. It's two in front of Morissette after it from Kalimna and further back Balbane, Desert Mistral, Peg Zone, Blaze the Turf in front of the 100, the danger, Morissette, the only danger, Blaze the Turf finding a bit ahead in front, Morissette coming at it, Morissette grabs it on the line, Morissette wins a half neck right on the line to Blaze the Turf, rider very upset to get beaten on that favourite, you could see over the line, third home is Balbane from Desert Mistral, then Baby Boomer, further back in the race then, Dan Voir from Peg Zone, so be a star, and Kalimna. Winner, number six, Morris said, 550, 170, one blaze the turf, 120, seven Bell Bain, 360. Number six, Morris said, 550 and 180, one blaze the turf, 110, seven for third Bell Barn, 280. Six is the winner here. Six the winner, one second, and third goes to seven. And uh, an emotional moment, I'd say, for young Ledger there. He... Um, 
You could see his uh, disappointment in being beaten. Gee, it did go hard, blaze the turf out in front. They've run one ten eight. She went at, uh, at high speed, led them a good four lengths. Uh, turned in front, just wobbled away from the fence, but uh, the, the ground started to come up to meet her legs in the last 150, and that's when Morissette got the last crack out of B. Preble and has beaten her. Beaten her about a neck, and he threw everything at it. Uh, Ledger going down towards the post. In fact, you could see his uh, disappointment a couple of bounds after the line. Uh, and the tight 617, Morissette. Racing. Caught them to a good start to Sweet Charity from near an inside alley. First out from Trebeal, Tobacco Flat. Not far back early is Le Bon Ton in company with Love Smiles. A little more than a length into desert. Just drifting back a little now from Willow Star. Touch the groom. Lord Vicare must away. Royal Anthem and Covenant drops out last. Going past the 1200 and Sweet Charity taken on by Trebeal. Two lengths away third is Love Smiles. Tobacco Flat caught on a limb going up on the inside as Le Bon Ton. Then desert. Lord Vicare's pretty pretty wide out and then touch the groom followed by Willow Star. A couple then to Mustaway parked on the inside of Royal Anthem and two lengths to Covenant to the side of the track and going to the crossing at the 850 and a good battle for the leader here with Sweet Charity having it narrowly from Trabeel. Two lengths away in the third spot Love Smiles followed by Le Bon Ton on its inside. Tobacco Flat is travelling fifth and about two lengths further off Desert. Hard ridden given a crack with a whip from Lord Vicare then touch the groom. A length to Willow Star one and a half covenant must has got one behind it and that is royal anthem as they travel to the corner they're stringing out 500 meters left to go and sweet charity leads them around the bend narrowly clear from trebeal and then comes love smiles le bon ton a length tobacco flat lord vicare desert and let's look for must away stone motherless last at the 250 trebeal and sweet charity taken on by lord vicare lord vicare sprinting quickly hits the front from a mile back royal anthem must away doing nothing but Lord Vicare in no danger, and Lord Vicare wins brilliantly from Royal Anthem. Trebeal's got third from Le Bon Ton, wide out Covenant, and then Willow Star followed home then by at the head of the others. On the inside was Desert, two or three lengths, then came Tobacco Flat, touched the groom, must have waited absolutely nothing, and the last two were Love Smiles and Sweet Charity. From the Super Tab, one Lord Vicare, five ninety two twenty eight Royal Anthem, three dollars ten and seven Trebeal to return four dollars ten. Second placing will go to horse number eight, and that is Royal Anthem, and the dividend is three dollars ten, and number seven is third, and that is Trebeal. And the tote dividend is three dollars and ninety cents. Treble Sydney five seven one one thousand eight hundred and seventy three dollars eighty. And at Coinbean, I believe we have correct weight there, Tony. Not with us at the moment. Okay, but we did hear that correct weight down the line. So weight is right, Coinbean. Eleven for the six. Dolls are back and they're off and running. Uh, Vitronite missed it about a length and a half. Other runners away quickly. Our Belition hopped out fast with Camargo and Prime Address pushing forward with Vesti and Water out Flak Jacket. Our Belition led Prime Address, Flak Jacket, Vesti, Camargo, Zapore and Mushtak from Prince of Lucas, Spirit of Hate, Vitronite, Flying Guy. Then Majestic Avenue followed for the back by Pursuits, Alfred's Jewel. Make us seem well back going out of the straight and last of all the fence is Nassi Rich. Out with about 1,700 metres to go, our Belition led by a length. Up second is Prime Address, a length and a half further back than Prince of Luca caught deep, but goes up third. Fourth, Flak Jacket. Fifth, Camargo, a length then Vesti. Then came support the inside of Spirit of Hope and Bush Tack. Three out, but going forward. A length and a half Vitronite and further back, Flying Guy from Pursuits, Majestic Avenue. Alfred's Jewel, two to make a scene. Last of all, Nassie Rich. Down the back, our Belition from Prince of Luca and now Prime Address has caught three deep. A length and a half, Flak Jacket. Fourth, fifth on the outside of it, Bush Tack. Still three deep. Camargo back on the inside now Mushtak went off the fence and then Vesti further back support Spirit of Hope from Flying Guy followed by Vitronite the rail 
a length and a half Majestic Avenue pursuits from Alfred's Jewel to the Maker Scene and Nassie Rich. Inside the thousand now, Prince Aluka took over now from Prime Address. Abolition back to third, Wonder Flak Jacket fourth, a length further back Camargo. They're followed by Mushtak outside at Spirit of Hope. Sapor is buried back inside Vesti at the 800. Flying Guy going around those further back Majestic Avenue, followed by Vitronite Alfred's Jewel. Pursuits back third last, Maker Scene second last and Nassie Rich last of all. Prince Aluka, the leader from Prime Address of the 600, a length and a half hour Belition. Then Flak Jacket, followed by Camargo. Further back, Spirit of Hope. Majestic Avenue pulled out deep support, buried on the inside on the rail. Then Mushtag as they turn for home. Here on the outside, Prime Address goes up to Prince Aluka at the 400 metre mark. Flak Jacket wider out. Then Camargo, support the fence. And further back, Majestic Avenue. Alfred's Jewel and Maker Scene coming right down the outside. Across the track at the 200, Flak Jacket in front of Prime Address. Sapor gets the run up on the inside. He's finishing on. Sapor and Flak Jacket from Maker Scene and pushing through Prime Address again. Flak Jacket, Sapor, Nassie Rich late. Prime Address kicks again. Prime Address has come back to win this again after being headed from maybe Sapor, although Nassie Rich, Flak Jacket and Maker Scene are there. Behind those would have been uh, Vitronite right on the heels from Pursuits. Abolition Camargo. Then uh, Alfred's Jewel from Mushtak and further back then Prince Aluka, Spirit of Hope, Vesti. Pursuits well back. Alfred's Jewel pulling up after the line with Majestic Avenue and Flying Guy. Number four, Prime Address, the winner. Prime Address, 26.60 and $8. Photo for the Miners, 8 Support, 2.50. 3 Nasser Ridge, 2.30. Correct weight Ascot, 3, 1 and 8. For Prime Address on the Super Tab, 24.80 and $7.10 the place. 8 Support, 2.30. Photo third. Passed him after he turned for home on the outside of the leader. They got to him, Prime Address, a poor and flak jacket. They'd make a scene further out. And he's kicked back after support, got the run up on the inside, burst through, got on terms, and this has come back again to win. Number four, prime address has beaten Sapor, and in the photo for third, make a scene. On the outside here, which has come from second to last, should grab, although it, oh no, it's hard to say, they haven't just lined up this, uh, this nose yet, it or flak jacket from Nassie Rich, who made ground from last back on the fence. So the numbers there are four, eight, it's just hard to see where the nose. They'll have to bring the uh, the third and fourth horses down to the uh, to the line here in the photo print. We've only seen the winning print. The photo for third, very close. Make a scene and flag jacket, and the photo sign still up there. Four eight and a photo. Prime address. This is the horse who won the uh, the Werribee Cup. Number seven. Make a scene gets third. Number seven. So it's four eight seven and six. Four the winner. Prime address. Craig Williams. Number eight, Sapor, written by Alf Matthews. And third, number seven on the outside, make a scene, Dwayne Dunn. Great finish, fourth in, close fourth, Flak Jacket, who probably looked as though he might win at the 200. And fifth home, up on the inside, Nassie Rich. One didn't know where to look in the straight. They were coming left, right, and centre. Very keenly contested affair, and they've run past him in the straight prime address after he was caught deep trying to get a position in the early point of the race. He's an old horse who was formerly trained by... Uh, the Hayes family, and she's been a great money uh, spinner for trainer Alan Williams. He Four, eight, seven. They're off. And one of the best out was Alimony. Commencing pretty well was come on Grace and not far back is Yodelara on Demi Point improving her ground. Then Snardame followed by on the inside Zamalane. Two lengths share the spirit she's neat. Second last and Tulsimus drops to the rear as they work to the back of the track. And who is going to lead? Well it's Alimony. Narrowly though from come on Grace. A length away third on Demi Point. She's trapped very very wide so the rider Cooksley is persevering on on Demi Point and he'll probably get to the lead. Yes he does now and down towards the 1200 on Demi Point a length and a half Alimony and come on Grace and two then Yodelara outside of Zamalane two and a half to Snar Dame share the spirit on her inside from She's Need and Tulsa Misses last they race onto the far corner here at the 1100 metres and the mare from Orange in the Central West leading the way on Demi Point she's a length and a half clear on come on Grace on the inside third another Central trained mare and that is Alimony she's from Bathurst a length and a half to Zamalane trained down on the south coast 
first at Conjola and wider is Yodalara. Two lengths to Snar Dame, quietly ridden by Andrew Payne. Three behind Snar Dame, and they are Share the Spirit, She's Neat, and Tulsa Mist. Working their way towards the 650, still no change in the order. On Demi Point, making play about three quarters of a length. Come on, Grace. Yodalara deeper, Alimony holding the rails. Zamalane one off, same, and then Snar Dame about to be wound up. Third last is Share the Spirit, a length and a half to She's Neat, and a couple to Tulsa Mist. They're homeward bound. 400 out and on Demi Point joined in front by Come On Grace, Yodalara, Alimony on the inside poking through at a length of Snar Dame and then comes Amelaine but Come On Grace hits the front past the 200 and Come On Grace put a length on Demi Point, Alimony and then comes wide out She's Neat, Come On Grace in front, Alimony on the inside is raising another effort, Come On Grace hanging on but I reckon that Alimony caught her on the line. Very close between Alimony or Come On Grace and She's Neat and Zamalate hit it locked together for third and then came Tulsa Miss, followed home by on Demi Point, Good Margin, Yodalara and the last two in being Share the Spirit and Snardame. Photo. Close go there between uh, numbers four, Alimony on the inside, 760, 230 or two Come On Grace, 330, 160. Those for third, five She's Neat, $2.00 or six Zamalane at four dollars. Alimony, number four, but uh, that camera angle's a little past the line, so we'll stand by and await on the judge's verdict. Very close finish in the race just decided. And the winner is, number four gets there, Alimony. Number four is the winner, Alimony, written by L. Cassidy. A rails hugging ride, and uh, the mayor from Bathurst has paid $8.20 and two forty. dollars Second placing goes to number two, Come On Grace, written by Len Beasley, has paid 150. And number six is third, Zamalane. And Zamalane, number six, has paid 390 with the Cornella, 1280, exact at $29.10. And the trifecta has returned $207.80. An exciting finish. And uh, the winner, Alimony, is prepared by Leanne Aspros for the Springdale Stud Canoundress Syndicate, managed by the Curran family, JP and CP Curran. Joe and Charles Curran and his Bayat Talak from Calera, a Baymere four, and El Cassidy continuing on his winning way. Number two, come on, Grace second, a mare by St. Jude from Arjanice, a five year old brown mare, John McNair, Len Beasley, and third going to number six, Zamalane by Zamoff from Watney's Lane, a Baymere four, Bede Murray, Brian York. The official fourth was number five, She's Neat. The winning margin was a short head with two lengths between second and third and the time 152.25. A short head to 152.25. The first 800 took 51.29. The last 600 in 34.60. And once upon a crime followed... Fourth, and they're followed by uh, Stormy Jim, fifth over on the inside. A length to Cyrenel, followed by Steel Phoenix. Two lengths to Regal Conspiracy. Litmus and a neck to Rich Pickings. Off the back and Pengulu a neck in front at the 800. Bibetto second, a length and a half to Planet King third and then Travelot. Over on the inside, Stormy Jim from Cyrenel. Back on the inside, Steel Phoenix, Regal Conspiracy. Rich picking second last before the turn and Litmus ridden along last of all. Inside the six now, Babetto again moved up to join Pengulu. A length away is Planet King. Regal Conspiracy round the outside from Travelot, Planet King. Uh, next in the field then is Rich Pickings pulled to the extreme outside. In the straight, Babetto about a head in front from Pengulu kicking back on the inside. Two lengths, Travelot running on fairly well. Regal Conspiracy is next. And a good break then to Rich Pickings at the 200. Pengulu fighting on again. Put the head in front of Babetto. Regal Conspiracy starting to close on them. Pengulu, Babetto, Regal Conspiracy is warming to it now. Regal Conspiracy gets to Pengulu and Regal Conspiracy a half length to Babetto or Pengulu in a photo for the miners with Litmus coming home well. Then Travelot, Rich Pickings, followed by Planet King. Next to finish, Steel Phoenix and then Cyrenelg and Stormy Jim back at the tail of the field. A double for Craig Williams. A running double, number nine. Regal Conspiracy, his third run back in from a spell, has finished over the top of them to win. There's not much in it for the Miners. Bebeto on the outside of Pengulu. And they've run 135.9. Nine and a photo. Regal Conspiracy looking at a pretty good quarter here now. First leg Morissette, second leg Prime Address, and now Regal Conspiracy taking out this one. Nine and a photo. Now there's a photo. Number five's got second, Babetto, written by Greg Childs, and one-third, Pengulu, written by Kieran McAvoy. Nine, five, and one. 
uh, the official placings. He's a horse who needs a bit of room generally, and he got no room at all in the straight at his uh, last run at Flemington. It was a good effort there behind uh, Raptor and Nocro. He hasn't won out of turn, this horse. In fact, just uh, scanning the records, March 97 was his last victory. Previous four at Sandown had netted a couple of placings, but uh, since that victory, he's had two preparations. Hadn't been able to win one, but he'd been a prolific place getter. So. There they go, and they came away on an even line to Elite Trooper and Al Rateba disputing the early lead. Royal Doors moved up into third posse, followed by Il Baccio, and then comes It's a Baby, and further still pratted deep from Renter Crowd, a length further back in the field as they sort themselves out. We are dancing. Second last is Calamba, and two lengths further back is Goodwood. They're racing on past the 1200 marker now, and Al Rateb on the outside is just the leader from Royal Door, again poking through to take up the lead. And on the first corner, Royal Door gets a Away three quarters to a length, Al Rateb, two and a half to three. Elite Trooper on the inside of Il Baccio and two and a half, It's a Babe on the rails from Inga. A further three lengths then coming, We're Dancing on the outside, a further still. Two and a half in Calamba, two lengths as they string out Rent a Crowd and three quarters to Goodwood. It'd have to be 15 lengths at least from this tear away leader, Royal Door. And coming along past the 700, Royal Door, six lengths, Al Rateb, and then Elite Trooper, Il Baccio. A length and three quarters to It's a Babe, a length to Inga, then further still, We're Dancing. Two lengths to the Canberra train of horses. Calamba and Goodwood at about four lengths to rent a crowd. Onto the swing now. And 400 left to go. And Royal Door enters the straight. About three lengths. Elite Trooper. A length Il Baccio. Followed by It's a Babe. Who's creeping up on the inside. Inga is starting to come home further. Still going with Inga. Then we're dancing. And Goodwood is on the extreme outside. Royal Door the leader. On the extreme outside. Coming at him as we're dancing. Between them further still. And then comes Goodwood. But we're dancing hits the front and we're dancing draws away to win we're dancing beat further still and royal door then goodwood elite trooper followed on the outside by inga a break calamba then came it's a babe a good margin il baccio al rateb has dropped out to beat one in and that was rent a crowd super tab 12 we're dancing 25 40 6 90 7 further still two dollars 10 and six royal door two dollars 80 Daily double one and twelve to return one hundred and thirty three dollars fifty. Correct weight Queenbean. This will be to hand in a moment. Further still, we're showing a total dividend of two dollars and thirty cents. And number six, Royal Door will be third at three dollars and forty cents. Those numbers will be official in just a moment. The winner trained here by Tim Donnelly for MC Donnelly, T. Pongrass, C. La Rosa, N. Gazelle, C. Peoples, F. Newman and P. Carlin by Carla Dancer from Glendra, a Jean Dromere. And as a Bay Gelding three, we're dancing. He's only had the three starts. That was his first win. And he's only had the two runs back this campaign. And Bradley Pengelly, the winning rider. Number 12, first seven, second further still is by Yonder from Perky Miss. A Bay Gelding five, trained by Guy Walter, written by Jamie Innes. And six, Royal Door, third is by Dirty Orr from... Uh, a mare called Salsi, trained by Ross Lomax at Ralston, a four-year-old chestnut horse, Royal Door, Kevin Moses. The official fourth was number five, and that was Goodwood. Winning margin, a length with a neck, separating second and third, one by a neck. Overall time was 135.34. That's uh, bettered the class record. Uh, coincidentally, was held by Inga, who raced in that previous. So the uh, winner... A new class record holder at 135.34. The first 800 they scorched along at 47.37 and the last 600 in 36.26. Now totes. They're racing and gasoline off the inside began nicely. 
Perfect cocktail flew out of the gate. She's going forward in the early part. Seema immediately took hold of Morphy and dropped him back towards the rear. He's fourth last on the outside of Satsqui. Indianapolis is pressing forward with Blue Arrow in the run to the first turn. And Zdenk is going up into a prominent position with Ross Moyne. Sirocco is just behind them. Then like a top Freedom Road Platonic. But up by Fresno Canyon. Morphy sliding over pretty close to the rails, but he's in the second half of the field. Satsqui now moving up on his outside. Then Gasoline. He began nicely, but he's drifted back off the pace. He's fourth last inside of Ojibwe, then insecure in Nazaro. Coming around the home turn the first time, just over a mile and a half to go in the Queensland Cup, and it's Blue Arrow the leader, joined on the outside by Indianapolis. Perfect Cocktail is taking the trail, third over on the inside, then Ross Moyne. Now, Carl has Zdenka beautifully positioned. She's just one off the rail. She's dropped straight onto the bit. She's running fifth. She's outside of Satsqui. One to Freedom Road. Like a top is next on the inside, then Platonic. Fresno Canyon, then Morphe and Satsqui, who's caught a little white. He's three deep. Gasoline is next on the inside of Insecure, then Ojibwe, and Nazaro's last of all. Coming up to the winning post the first time, and if I said they were going a half pace, I'd probably be overstating it. It's Indianapolis leading by one length. There's no speed on. Blue Arrow's running second. Ross Moyne is third on the outside of Perfect Cocktail, followed by Zdenka, still fifth, three lengths off the leader. Sirocco is sixth on the inside, one to Freedom Road. Now Satsqui starting to improve. He's still out three wide but he's moving up outside of Freedom Road and like a top one to Plutonic. Fresno Canyon next inside of Morphe. Morphe must be 10 lengths off the leader. He's racing outside of Gasoline and then insecure Rajibwe and Nazaro. A bit more speed on now as they sweep towards the back at the 1600 and Blue Arrow has moved up on the outside and now he clears Indianapolis. Blue Arrow crosses onto the rails to lead by two lengths. Indianapolis is running second. Then there's a gap of three lengths to Perfect Cocktail and Ross Moyne together. Zedenk is a length and a half behind that pair followed by like a top. Sirocco starting to go forward, but three wide. Freedom Road on the outside of Platonic. One to Fresno Canyon. Then Satsqui. There's a gap of two lengths to Morphe. Morphe still giving the leaders about 15 lengths start as they race over past the 1,200. Gasoline is next on the inside, then insecure Ojibwe and Nazaro. A thousand metres left to go and it's Blue Arrow by one length. Sirocco moving up to be second. Indianapolis is third in the centre. There's a fair bit of pressure on now. Followed by Perfect Cocktail who's running fourth on the inside of Ross Moyne. One to Zdenka. Like a top and then Platonic. A length further back to Freedom Road. Fresno Canyon. Then Morphe Satsqui. Followed by Gasoline on the inside. Then Insecure Nazaro and Ojibwe. Coming down the side, they've got 700 metres left to go. Blue Arrow's just in front. Indianapolis is there, second on the outside, moving up to have a crack at the leader. Sirocco's going up three wide. Here comes the Dinka now, four wide on the bend, but chiming in at the right time. Platonic is next, and then Like a Top, who's back on the rails. A length further back then came Insecure. Freedom Road is running into it strongly on the outside. They're in the straight now, 350 metres to go. Zdenka dash quickly on the outside. She's gone up to go to the lead, but she is tackled immediately by Insecure and Freedom Road. Insecure has hit the lead. Here comes more. Morphe. Morphe's finishing strongly on the outside. Morphe went up to Insecure. Insecure is boring out badly. Morphe's just about got him. 100 metres to go. Morphe's just in front of Insecure. Insecure's kicking again. Insecure in front of Morphe. They draw to the line. Insecure first and a big victory wave from the jockey boy as they hit the line there. Morphe second and third home Fresno Canyon followed in by Zdenka. The next one over the line was Freedom Road with Nazaro Gasoline. Well back in the field was Perfect Cocktail and then Sasquare like a top Indiana Annapolis Platonic. Well back two was Ojibwe with Ross Moyne and the last two over the line were Blue Arrow and Sirocco. Two out at Ascot, winner at Eagle Farm, two insecure, 570, 210, one Morphe, 160, seven Fresno Canyon, five dollars. Two insecure, 6.30, two even, one Morphe, 180, and seven for third Fresno Canyon, 5.10, getting close to a start in Perth, race seven Melbourne, the update. One sports, 3.90, 1.90 in favour, two true identity, 13, 3.70, three glass cutter, 8.30, 2.80, four. After the start, Bruce Dancer got back. Sport's not brilliant away near the outside. He settled third last, but he is pushing forward. Hot Touch goes to the front now from Always a Chance, and Sports has fired up. He goes around the outside of Call Me Spike. Two to Glass, Cutter followed by Bruce Dancer. Vibrant Black, Bruce Dancer getting it set up. Then True Identity, one in Victane, two Carl Alia, Exciting Ranch and Fonza Rally. 8.50 out, the pace pretty keen. Hot Touch three quarters to a length in front. Sports across second now, about three further back, then Call Me Spike. Always a Chance, fourth the inside.